Hey guys, it's Poochie, and we are keeping it real today with some news about Amazon and how they are trying to crack down on stealth or ghost accounts. Okay guys, so if you know anything about selling on Amazon, you know they are very stingy about allowing a second selling account. You actually have to request formally from Amazon to be able to open a second selling account, and they make you give reasons of why you want to open a second selling account. Now some selling accounts they approve, some selling accounts they don't. So you're kind of mm, at Amazon's whim whether you can actually have a second selling account. If you do get one, you can't sell the same types of products on both accounts. And again, you have to have a really good reason for why you want a second selling account to begin with. So what a lot of sellers end up doing is getting something called a stealth account or a ghost account. This is an account to sell on Amazon that you can either buy from a service or you can make yourself. Um, there are all sorts of people who use them. Basically, it's an account that doesn't have your name, your address, etc. It's a fake identity account. Now, for a long time, Amazon has been able to kind of tie accounts together by... Um, IP addresses or MAC addresses from your, from your computer, where you sign in, etc. cetera. Um, also your address information, if you're uh, in the same household with like a roommate or even your husband or your kid, your parent, whatever. They don't want you to have more than one seller account. And many times if they catch you having more than one seller account, they will suspend you or suspend both accounts by linking them together. So a lot of people have opened stealth or ghost accounts in order to kind of get around this. Some people actually sell stealth or ghost accounts. Amazon knows this and they're trying to put a stop to it apparently because yesterday on a website called thestreet.com there is an interesting article that I will read to you now. Amazon tests video calls to verify third-party sellers and reduce fraud. Amazon is testing video calling to verify third-party sellers as it tries to reduce the fraudulent accounts and listings on its platform. Mm, that is aimed specifically at stealth or ghost accounts. So what is Amazon doing to try to get rid of stealth or ghost accounts? The enhanced vetting process supplements the normal online submission process with video calls to verify the identities of applicants. The company said they have been trying to cut down on potential fraud. They said the live verification program began early this year. The program initially involved in-person verification. I'm not sure how they were doing that, but changed to video calls due to the coronavirus pandemic. Quote, as we practice social distancing, we are testing a process that allows us to validate prospective sellers identification via video conferencing. Okay, so this is crazy. So Amazon is apparently using this technology called Chime video conferencing to make the scheduled calls. A trained Amazon representative, uh, we all know about those, <laughs> checks a prospective seller's ID to ensure it matches the person on the call and the documents the seller has provided in the application. That is insane. That is going to shut down stealth accounts. Now, on any of the accounts that we've opened, because we've opened several this year, um, we haven't had this pop up at all, but it says they've tested it on over a thousand accounts in the US, the UK, China, and Japan. Counterfeiting. Amazon says it's all about counterfeiting. They face criticism over counterfeit items that have been sold on the website. They say they're taking measures to crack down on fraud, including launching a program to give, to give legitimate third-party sellers legal assistance to protect their products from counterfeiting. You think if you don't have knockoff or counterfeit products, you don't really have anything to worry about, right? Well, that's not the case with Amazon always. We all have something to worry about because Amazon has shown when they suspend accounts, when they turn down appeals that are legitimate appeals, um, with the way they conduct business with third-party sellers because third-party sellers are actually Amazon's competition since Amazon sells a ton of products themselves now. Third-party sellers are actually competition for Amazon. So this is not going to be good in any way for third-party sellers. If Amazon treated their sellers fairly, it would be, but that isn't always the case, is it?
So this is definitely something to watch in the future. Uh, again, it's mid-year now. They said they've been doing it since early in the year. T uh, right now, we've heard, I've heard a lot about facial recognition software being used. They're not doing that yet. Um, they're actually doing the live uh, video calls, apparently, instead of the facial rec recognition software. So we'll see how it goes, but this could definitely, definitely affect stealth accounts, getting new stealth accounts, and the ability to even sell on Amazon in the future if you're using stealth accounts, and they do yearly or semi-yearly or even monthly uh, verifications. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's Poochie keeping it real. Stay safe out there, and make sure you subscribe to the channel.